Hey guys, welcome back to Maxim Automation. In my last video, we discussed Git branching and a strategy which we can use to create branches. So today we are going to see how to create multiple branches and how you can commit your code to the respective branches. We are also going to see what is pull request or PR and how to raise a PR, review the PR and how to close it. So let's start with today's session. If I move to my GitHub repository, then you can see here I have only one branch as master, which is my default branch. We already discussed when we create a new repository, then a default branch gets created, which can be a master or main branch. And after that, we can have multiple branches in our repository based on the requirement and we can see all those branches over here currently i have only one branch as master now let's say that you want to create another branch called as develop from the master branch because as we discussed in my last video that master branch must always contains the stable code so whenever the developer wants to merge their changes to the branch then they can merge it into the develop branch instead of master branch because in case a developer introduces a bug in the code then the master branch won't be impacted and once all the developers are done with their changes then the code needs to be tested in the develop branch once done then code can be merged from develop to master branch so when we follow this strategy then we always say that our master branch is a stable branch because the code merged in the master moved after all the testing. Now I'm going to create another branch developed from the master. So here it says create branch developed from master. The reason is because we are currently in the master branch. If there would have been any other branch, then we would be getting the message create develop branch from XYZ branch. Now I'm going to click on this to create the branch. Here you can see the branch created and it shows the count as two branches. And if I click on this drop down, then we can see there are two branches now. One is master branch, which is default one and the other one is develop. Here also we can see now it says that in this repository, we have one default branch and one developed branch, which was created by me. You can move between the branches to see the code of each branch. Currently, this branch is up to date with master because we have the same code in both the branches as I have created the developed branch from the master, which means that master and develop now points to the same snapshot of the code which we discussed in my last video. I believe now you can relate to how it basically works. Okay, now let's go to the source code on my system. And if I open the git bash over here, then you can see that it's currently mapped with the master branch. Now let's say that I want to create another branch in my git repository. Currently my git local repository doesn't have any information about the develop branch, which I have just created in GitHub. So let's see how we can create another branch in my local Git repository as well. To create a new branch, we need to type command git checkout hyphen b, then the branch name. I'm going to create the same name of the branch as we have in GitHub, that is develop. Here you can see that now we are on develop branch instead of master. This checkout command not only creates a branch but also switches to the created branch as well. I have created another branch because I don't want to push my changes directly to the main branch. So whatever changes now I'll perform, everything is gonna be committed on my develop branch instead of master. Now let me create a new file over here and I'll rename it as Amazon test 
new three. And if I do the git status, then it displays the new file as an untracked file. And let me add this file to staging. And then I'm gonna commit this file to my develop branch. Now, the next thing is to move the changes to GitHub repository by typing the command git push set upstream origin develop which means that this will push my local develop branch code to github develop branch now let's move to github here you can see we received a notification that we have a recent push in the develop branch now let's say that you want to merge your code from develop branch to master then how can you do that so for that you need to create a pull request by clicking on this so what is pull request a pull request is basically a request which is raised by a developer to notify the team members that he has completed his features and wants to move his code from his individual or feature branch to the main branch of the project so when a pull request is raised and assigned to the team for review then it displays all the changes done by the developer in the code where the team can see and compare the changes and also can provide their feedback and once approved by the team then the code is ready to merge from the feature branch to the main branch so here you can see when we create a pull request then it asks from which branch we want to create a pull request and on which branch we want to merge the changes. In this case, we want to merge our code from develop to master branch. Here it displays the commit message which I have given at the time of committing the code. If you want, you can add additional comments over here to provide the descriptive information that what is basically changed in this commit. And you can also view the file changes done in this commit. So here we can see that one file has been added as part of this commit. After that, to create the pull request, click on this button. And pull request will be created. Currently, a pull request has been raised. So until we complete the pull request, our code won't be merged into the master. If I go to the master branch, and click on test cases then you can see it still has two feature files whereas if i go to develop branch then we can see it has three feature files which means that the develop branch is one commit ahead of master branch now to go to the pull request you can click on the pull request tab and then click on the open request and let's say I have reviewed the changes and want to complete this PR. Then click on merge pull request and then click on confirm merge. Here you can see the pull request is successfully merged and closed. Now, if I go to the master branch and see the commit history, then we can see that we have one new commit in master branch through this pull request. And if I go to the test cases folder in master branch, then now it has three feature files. So this is how we can raise a pull request and merge it into the desired branch. Here we directly merge the code into develop branch, which we generally don't do in real time scenarios. To merge the changes into the develop branch, developer first commit their changes to their feature branches. And once done, then they raise a pull request to merge their code to develop branch. Now let's see how to do it. So this is my local folder where I'm gonna first take the clone of the develop branch. To take the clone from a specific branch, we need to specify the branch name by using hyphen B, followed by the branch name. 
if you don't provide the branch name then code will be cloned from the default branch of the repository which is master in our case then we need to copy the github repository url and paste it over here so this command says that i want to take the clone from the develop branch of this repository now the code has been cloned and if i move to the folder then you can see it says we are currently at develop branch so as developers directly don't work on develop or master branch so they used to create their respective feature branches from the origin branch let's say i'm going to create a new branch as my feature branch you can see my feature branch is created and i'm switched to this branch now let's say i want to update my changes in this feature file and i'm going to update the scenario name and we'll save it and if i do get status then it says that a file is modified so let me commit this file first so the file is committed now let's see what happens when you have your branch available only on your local git repository but not in remote server so when you do git push only then you will get the message that no remote branch available with this name if you are working on a branch which is already available on remote server then you don't need to type the whole command you can only type git push but in this case we need to type the full command to push our repository to the remote server okay so the code has been pushed now let's move to github here you can see we received a notification that this branch had a recent push and if i click on this to create a pull request then you can see this is the branch from where we want to merge the code and then we can select the branch to where we want to merge so i'm not going to select the master i'm going to select the develop branch where i want to merge my code now let's say that i don't want to create a pull request now because my work is not completed so i can again go back to my project to update the changes let's say i'm again going to update the scenario name in this feature file and then i'm going to commit my changes to my feature branch so code has been committed now to push the changes to the remote server i only need to type the command get push because my feature branch already exists on the server now if i refresh this page then you can see i'm getting the latest change set information of file and i can see what was the original scenario name and what has been updated in this commit then we can create the pull request by clicking on this also at the right side you can see some fields like assignee and reviewers sometimes people are confused between assignee and reviewers assignee can be anyone it can be the same person which has requested the pr but reviewers are the persons who gonna review the code and you cannot add yourself as a reviewer if you are raising a pull request that's why i'm not getting my name over here so when you have multiple people from your team who are working in the repository then you will get the list of names who you can add as reviewer to review your code currently i don't have anyone to review so i can complete and merge the pull request because i am the owner of the repository but in real scenario 
only people who have merge rights can only complete the PR and merge. So the PR is complete. And now as we have three branches in this repository and one of them is feature branch. So it is always suggested to delete your feature branch as you are done with the code merge. You can delete the branch from this page as well. Also, you can only delete the branches in the repository which is created by you. In case there are other branches which are created by other members in the team, then you won't be able to delete those branches. Now, once we are done with all the changes and merged into the developed branch, and we want to merge our code to master branch, then we can raise a pull request from here, which will merge the code from develop to master. And we can see all the changes which are going to merge. Then we need to provide the commit message. Also, if you see at the right side, then you can assign some extra information with this commit. You can provide the label with the commit like whether it is an enhancement and let's say it contains a bug fix as well so this is totally optional the only reason for providing the extra information is to filter your search when you are looking for commit history and if you want you can provide the extra comments to describe the changes done in this merge and then create it you can always find all PRs in this pull request tab. And then you can select the open pull request, which is assigned to you. Then let's say that you are going to review the pull request. And you can go to the file changes and can review the changes. And then you can choose the option whether you want to provide the review comments or approve the PR or you want to request a change in the code. Based on your findings, you can provide the comment. Let's say I want to see the test case ID as well in the scenario name. And then you can request for the changes in the code. Currently, I won't be able to do it because I'm the one who created this PR. So I cannot approve or request changes. I can only provide the comment but when you want to request for changes, then you need to select this option. And the person who raised the PR will get the notification for code change. And when the PR is reviewed and approved, then you can complete the pull request and merge the changes into the master. So this is how you can create branches in your GitHub repository. And then you can raise and complete pull requests to merge your changes from one branch to another. Please try it by yourself and for any query, put your comments in the comment box. I hope you guys have enjoyed the session. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel.